Hello guys, this is Matt from War at Sea Fleet Command. We've just released our Java C Vassal module for Avalanche Press's Second World War at Sea, Java C. It's a great module, it's a great game. Um, I love the idea that these are two really light forces, mostly surface-based, getting a go at each other. Um, there's also good air raids, there's a battleship or two, but that's about it. Um, it's, it's really cool. So, I'm gonna start off by talking about what this particular video is about, and that is one of the main pain points in playing operational scenarios in um, the Second World War and Great War at Sea series. That is having to plot. Some mission types require you to plot the entire game out ahead of time, which could be 60, 80, 100 turns. That's a lot of paperwork. And when you do it uh, traditionally um, with the, the, the hard copies of the games, it's just no fun. Um, we tried to make it a little bit better. We came up with a couple different answers. I'm going to show you both ways to do it today, but I got to tell you, my uh, my partners in crime do not like what I'm calling the uh, the quick plot, um, but it's an option for you. So I'm going to show you how to use it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've started a game here, and I'm going to create a task force. So I'm going to start with Allied fleets, and I'm going to grab out um, on my Allied ships. I'm going to go to the capital ships and I'm going to get the Prince of Wales and I'm going to drag it out to Task Force 3. The Repulse and drag it out to Task Force 3. And I'm going to go look at the destroyers and I'm going to pick Electra and Encounter and Express. Now you'll notice that when I drag these guys out into the box, it tells me here in the log what pieces have been created. It just says in off board, but it, that's fine. We can live with that. So I'm going to go ahead and close up my fleets, and now I have a, uh, the task force. So I'm going to go to my maps, my operational map, and I'm going to open that up, and I'm going to uh, bring it around to where I want to actually have this fleet start. And we are going to put it in Singapore. And while we're in Singapore, I'm just going to navigate to it so you can see it. Um, now. Um, I can put that fleet there. So I'm going to go click on my counters for allies, fleets, choose my task force. Hey, wait, where's task force three? Easy. Drag it out, stick it in Singapore, and then line it up any way you like. You'll notice it shows that it's created the fleet there. Abacom, by the way, is of course the, um, the American, British, Australian, and Dutch forces. Yeah, so cute little acronym. You can never not use an acronym. That is a good one. So I'm going to set my fleet number, and I'm just going to increase it. So this allows you to have one counter in your, in your counter sheet that will be any individual fleet you want. So it's Task Force 3. We're good with that. It's there. So now you'll notice that there are two options here. Move plot. I'm going to bring up the move plot. It's ugly. And I'm going to drag this down so that we can um, actually see most of it on screen. Right, and we will go here because we don't need a lot of this. I'm going to drag, drag it over to the side, and then I'm going to go look at the new one, which is called Quick Plot. And in Quick Plot, I've got a slightly easier box. So I'm going to drag these off to the side. So we need to access one more item here, and I'm going to go click on the plotting game markers, and then plotting aids. Choose the Allied plotter. In the Allied Plotter, I'm going to take it and drag it on top of the task force. You see it pops up. So the first thing I'm going to do with this plotter is I'm going to set the fleet, and I'm going to call it Fleet 3, because this is the plotter for Fleet 3. You can have a multiple plotters on the page, or you can just have one and keep changing the name. But the name is important. Then I'm going to set the turn number. I'm going to set the turn number as 1. Okay. So now it's got turn 1. Now I'm going to move the plotter where I'm going to move it. So I'm going to have them go down here to uh, Pompeynac, and I'm going to have them bombard. So I'm going to drag this guy out, and their speed is such that they're going to go two hexes, and then it's going to go, and then I'm going to, I'm going to stay right here, actually. I'm going to set the turn to be turn two, and I'm going to drag it, and then I'm going to change the turn to be turn three, and I'm going to drag it, and then I'm going to set the turn to be turn four, 
And now I'm going to get a little slower and be a little more circumspect. And so I'm going to drag this guy just the one hex. And you come over here to the log and you'll see that it's added all this great stuff. Now there's some problems here. One is it's got this one duplicated. But we can actually fix that later on. We can fix it in post-production. Actually, you can. But here's how what we're going to do now. Now that I've done all that, I can come into my task force and I can choose my move plot. And in my move plot, I'm going to put both of these out here. And we're not going to need these guys underneath just now. So I'm going to make it a little bit more easy to use. So I'm going to set my, for the regular plotting, I'm going to set it for three. I'm going to call this one Bombard. And I'm going to get the composition. Well, where's the composition? Voila, it's right here. So when you added these things onto the fleet, you created a log of it. And so you can just click on here and you can paste your log. Now that's going to expand when we reopen this. Well, we haven't reopened it yet, so just give me a break on that. So we're going to go click on this guy and triple click on him. Oops. Copy. And he goes in turn one. And then this was a, a faux pas. We don't need to copy that. So for turn two, we're going to copy that. And we're going to put it in there. And for turn three, we're going to copy that. And we're going to put it in there. And for turn four, we're going to copy that. And we're going to put it in there. And you can see you can go and do that pretty much all day. But now you've got the list of all the places you want it to go. So this is much faster than writing it out by hand, unless you're a super fast typist. I'm not. So this is where we're going to leave this guy. Well, what if you wanted to do that all at once? Well, the answer is you can't. So if I go into here, the quick chart, and I go to Express, we're, we're going to copy that content again, what we created. We're going to put that in Composition. We're going to put the fleet in three, and we're going to put the Bombard back. Okay, and then in the Turn and Plot, instead of getting everything individually, clicking them one by one, all we're going to do is drag and select copy and paste and now close this up we go to move plot so there's your move plot and you can see that it goes turn by turn it gives you the night twilight and so on and it gives you all the composition which is great but you can also go to quick plot and now you can see it all at one time so here, you've got to do whatever you've got to do to make this legible. But there are some nice things here. First of all, if I go back up to this log, as I'm creating the log, I can't go back and edit the log here, but I can go down here and I can put in um, saw a submarine. All right, and I can hit enter. And then that enters that comment. Now, when I copy this and you put it in, it's going to choose, it's going to add your notes. So this is actually kind of maybe handier than the other one. And once it's in this window, then you can edit it. So you see I've moved this guy in the same square. So I can just get rid of that. And now I have a real good valid move plot. So again, this is not beautiful. This is not a great solution. We want to find a better way to do it, but we haven't done it so far. So this is where we're at for Java C. And I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you enjoy the module. Please let me know if you find anything. I have a couple of other things I'm going to do short videos on, but this one is just for the uh, using the fleets and using the plotting. So thanks a lot.